Clear Zone is the blind spot mirror advertised on television. That's today's review. All right, so Clear Zone comes, package of two. Um, I got it on Amazon, but it's going to be available in stores pretty soon for about 10 bucks for a package of two. So first up, let's get started on my Ford Fusion. You can't tell this at first, and the minimal instructions don't say anything. But there's actually plastic film over there that you can get out with that tab. Now I should point out something that the clear zone comes with a small adhesive strip that's supposed to go between the clear zone and the mirror housing. I wasn't real keen on the idea of putting an adhesive strip on there because I thought that might take the paint off when I removed it. So I thought I would just lightly screw it in and maybe only come away with a couple small marks that wouldn't be noticeable. Well, it didn't work out that way. I got a little bit upset. It's kind of funny now, so check this out. There's not much to it. All you have to do is Tighten these screws onto here, like that. The instructions called to put this adhesive on top of your mirror. I didn't really want to use adhesive, so I went straight on there, and I ended up scratching it. So I guess I'm going to have to use the adhesive after all. Well, I ha reluctantly have to use this adhesive strip. Hopefully it comes off of here. I'm now applying to the passenger side. All right, passenger side, the adhesive strip's on. Let's attach this. All right, I think that's in place. Do you like the way that looks? I'm not sure I like that. I mean, this is supposed to be kind of a cool looking car. Now I've got these, this is kind of, I like the way the car looks. I don't like the way that mirror looks. Not a, not a fan. So not only did I scratch part of the top of my mirror, and now I have adhesives on there, and I don't even like the way it looks. And I didn't use it yet. This would better be a really good mirror for me to go through all that. So I'm gonna take it in the car and see how it goes. All right, I've done about 150 videos so far on this YouTube channel. This is the first time I've ever started off one in kind of a bad mood. That's right, because I'm not really that happy about the way the clear zone attached to my car already. When I saw that there was adhesive strips, I said, eh, I'll just put it on gently. It was my dumb fault for doing that, so you guys can bash me all you want. I'll agree with you. Um, so I put it on without the adhesive strip, and it scratched the top of my mirror. Because I really don't want to have an adhesive strip on there, because that could also tear off the paint when I take it off. So I'm not really thrilled about the way it goes on, and I'm not really thrilled about the way it looks. Watch this. It might look okay on a large truck or something like that, but not on a not on a sporty car. I don't know. That's just this big extra mirror. Of course, I already have a blind spot mirror. Wait, where, who's holding the steering wheel? I already have a blind spot mirror, so this is just for demonstration purposes only. I will say the clear zone does have a nice wide field to it. I can see from the side of my car all the way to the other side of the other lane, so there is no blind spot looking in the clear zone. I do like that about it. It's a little bit shakier than my mirror is. If you can see, it kind of bounces a little bit more. One other thing I actually don't like about it is over there, that one needs to be adjusted. How am I going to adjust it? I'm going to either have to have someone adjust it for me or I'm going to have to get out of my car, walk around, adjust it, and then hopefully that's right. It doesn't really adjust that much either. It just adjusts slightly, so I'll have to show you how that works when I get out of the car. But right now, the fact that I don't like the way it adheres, I don't like the way it looks, I already have a blind spot mirror on this car. I really don't have much use for it. When I get back home, I'm going to try it on my beater car, my old Ford Focus. That one does not have a blind spot mirror, and I don't care if that one gets scratched or not. So we'll, I'll test it out on that car next. I guess we started off on the wrong foot as far as the clear zone goes, but right now it's, it's a pretty good blind spot mirror. I'm here at the Las Vegas Premium Outlet Mall. Part of my errands I'm running today with my clear zone mirrors on. I already had my rant earlier. I calmed down a little bit, so I'm feeling a bit better. I do have to go over there and adjust that somehow. It's really I, not much really to do about that as good as I'm going to get. It looks like I do see the side of the car now, which I didn't before. And you can see that's how it compares to the, the blind spot mirror I already have. It is much bigger. It's much bigger and wider, so I do like that about it. I just don't like the way it really looks or installs. Part of this is also to test how it holds up being driven on the freeway, which I'll be doing for a while today. So you really can't even really transfer to another car if you want to use this adhesive. I mean, I, I think most people would not be very happy about that. That looks terrible now. And I had the adhesive on there, and it still went through. Not good. Not cool. Now, this car I don't really care about. This is an old car. I, I'm just going to go straight onto it. I'm not really concerned about that. 
All right, again, it'll probably scratch here, but I don't care because this car is pretty old anyways. I'll take this out for a drive, maybe at night and see how it works at night. All right, I've removed the clear zone from my Fusion. Here's the mounting tape. I mean, it does come off pretty good. I mean, this is basically useless now at this point. That will come off. There's a really small mark that won't come off. Not too worried about that one, but the other side where I got the marks is what I didn't like. I'll take that off later. Let me show you how this mirror adjusts here. As you can see, it does move left and right. It does move up and down. It seems like it moves up and down more than it does left and right. And it takes a little bit of adjustment to get it just right so you do get the blind spot. I actually had to adjust this one a couple times. I'm here at Hemingway Park here in Boulder City, Nevada, hanging out with some bighorn sheep. I was going to point out that the instructions right here has a one sentence instructions. It reads, simply apply adhesive mounting plate, place on top of your car's side mirror, adjust your perfect view and secure with the provided screws. That's all it says. So if there's any reason I may have done that wrong, I'm going to blame the instructions because they're not very elaborate. Anyways, um, if you're worried about the adhesive, on my Fusion, it did not affect the paint negatively, so don't worry about that. But if you secure it with screws, there's still a possibility you're going to get a little mark on the top of the paint. That did happen on the passenger side of my Fusion. And we also noticed that it takes a bit to get the blind spot actually dialed into the mirror itself, because if you uh, if you don't have it right, you'll still have a blind spot even with a clear zone. So you have to kind of make sure that you're actually. Oh, watch this. We have action. We got action over here. Some new guys just joined the crowd. Anyways, um, as I was saying, if you don't have it adjusted properly, you can still have a blind spot even with the clear zone. So you might have to kind of play with it a little bit. As far as clear zone goes, I'll probably leave it on my Focus. It's an old car. I don't care if it messes the mirrors up. It doesn't have the those mirrors anyways. So it's probably useful. I don't use that car very much. And it doesn't look quite as bad on that car as it does on my other one. So I think it'll probably stay on that one for indefinitely, actually. Oh, there's a little baby one over there. Not only did I get to see the bighorn sheep, but I also found two tennis balls for Bailey when I get home, so Bailey will be happy about that. There's nobody else here. I'm not stealing these. They were just on the ground. There's not one other person at the park but me. So I'm going to go head back home with my clear zone and my two tennis balls, and I'm going to try this one more time at night to see how it works there, and then wrap this up. Let me see if, if you can see what I see. There's a truck next to me. And you'll see it go into my blind spot at some point, but the clear zone does show the truck still. Like I can't see it in my regular mirror, but I can see it in the clear zone. So in that case, it's pretty good. Can you see that? Truck in the blind spot, I can't see it in my regular mirror, but I can in the clear zone. So, you know, it, it's functional. I've been driving around for a while and not that I expected the clear zone to look any different at night, but it looks fine. And I've actually been driving around all day and the clear zone has held up, it hasn't fallen off. So as far as that goes, it's doing pretty well. Shut up. Everyone's out tonight on first Friday down in Las Vegas. Me, I'm at home editing the video I filmed today for Clear Zone. But let's recap what happened. When I first wanted to install it, I didn't really want to use the adhesive on the mirror, so I went with the screws right into it, which was a mistake, I admit, but I thought I would be smart and avoid the adhesive, and that was a disaster, so that was my fault. I put the adhesive on. The adhesive comes off okay, but it doesn't really stop the screws from making marks in the housing of the mirror, so you have to be careful about that. So I moved it to a Ford Focus, an older model, it has a plastic housing around the mirror and the screws went right in, it didn't really matter that much. I didn't like the way it looked on my Fusion, it doesn't really bother me the way it looks 
on my focus. You can still get a blind spot if you don't adjust it properly. I had a blind spot when I was driving to Boulder City in the passenger side of this focus until I got out of another park there and was able to get it just in the right position. So you have to also be careful of that. Otherwise, I think it works pretty well. I don't like the way it installs. I don't like the way it looked on one of my two cars. So as far as that goes, I'd give it a solid six out of 10. Would you use Clear Zone on your car? Let me know what you think in the comments below. And please subscribe for more as seen on TV product reviews from me, James White, with Freakin' Reviews.